Today we'll be taking a look at your favorite masks and completely arbitrarily what your favorite mask says about you based off of absolutely no prerequisites, just whatever man, let's get right into it. Let's be honest, if you're a fan of the postman's hat, you're a hard-working individual, or you love committing mail fraud. Thin line. Thin line, but you're one of the two. Let's be honest, if you like the bunny hood, you probably just like the fact that it makes you feel like a blue blur, you get to go fast in it, or you just really enjoy, uh, headwear with actual utility. Speaking of utility, this is a borderline absurd mask that you attach to your face with one of the most notorious blind spots as far as logic. Shield in front of the face? Explode? Still fine. No damage. But let's be honest, if you enjoy the bomb mask, you just enjoy the fact that you got it from an old lady who actually said go blow yourself up, or you like danger. Sure. If you like the stone mask, then you, my friend, are a fan of cheese. You enjoy cheese, you love it, you embrace it. You may call it utility, but we all know what uh, going through most of the areas completely invisible to the naked eye is. That is cheese. You are cheesing. Delicious, delicious cheese. You love scavenger hunts, I guess? Bruh. I'm trying to shoot here, you mind? On all levels, except physical, I am a fox. No, but seriously, you probably think this is the most adorable mask in the entire game, and you would be correct. My personal favorite, of course. I have many, many D&D characters, or just RPG characters, named after this mask specifically. It's so cute. And you love talking to animals. Who doesn't love that, all right? Who doesn't love that? This actually isn't that great of a spot. I'm gonna find another one. If you enjoy this mask, you probably really have never taken a look at the front of it because honestly, it's terrifying. Probably a mask you've used once and uh, are just claiming it to be your favorite because you really love old ladies and listening to their stories. You are the backbone of society. Someone has got to distract all these old ladies or they will rise up and they will defeat all of us. You enjoy giving Gorons meat or not seeing. Let's be honest, you have no idea what this mask even does, and neither do I. I've been told that it's used for searching for magic or something, but honestly, never ever been useful to me. You probably just heard that uh, the one row of the masks makes the Star Fox team, and uh, you wanted to, you know, bring Pigma into this too. You are a party animal. You love the milk? Quote unquote. You're the first one to arrive at a party and the last one to leave. You also eventually turn into the next mask. You are a sad boy. You are a walking Amber Alert. Good on you, honestly. You are definitely not afraid of commitment. You either love playing with spiders or love destroying them. Either way, spiders are in your future. I'm sorry. You may not be the first one to the party, but you are the one that gets all the ladies to follow along and you dance. You're a little bit weird. And that's okay. You probably work the graveyard shift. You definitely work the graveyard shift. Or are in a cult. Either one. Or both. It could be both. You are a natural born leader. Unfortunately, you're dead. Don't know how you're watching this video. Well played. If you're a fan of this mask, you love soft locking my game. Thank you for that, by the way. Thank you very much. Damn, I should have done that one last, huh? You probably use the word yikes a little more than you should. You like to be Sonic, but don't want the headgear. Also, you probably use the word bruh entirely too much. You are probably slimy, but you can play a mean riff on the guitar. If this is your favorite mask, you are either an edgy 14 year old, or you have untapped potential that really would be useful for the entirety of your adventure. Unfortunately, you're always the last one to the party. That, or you're someone who tries to use swords, even though you have absolutely no training, but you don't want your parents to find out about it. And this concludes the video. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Uh, if you were offended, leave a like. If you were not offended, please leave a like. And also bear in mind, they are stereotypes. It's all for fun. Um, it's based off of nothing at all. Anyway, seriously, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I'm Newborn Keelik, and I will see you in the next one. I'm out.